Well, I found out I was pregnant when I was 24. I was an adult, but emotionally, I was like a teenager. And my parents knew me well enough to know that I would want to go out every night and I would probably leave the baby with them. And they asked me if I was willing to go down to Catholic Charities to talk to somebody about adoption. I thought it was going to be an old blue-haired lady (laughs) shaking her finger at me, telling me I was going to go to hell. But it wasn't. It was just somebody who on a normal day I would have met and become friends with. There's nothing worse than having your house with no food in it. Uh, I have nine kids, 17 grandkids. I never thought I would ever have to need help. And yes, you do, you need help. I slept out in front of the bridge for four months. I'd get cardboard and you'd have your own blanket, you know. That's pretty rough on you. My routine, why I was homeless is I'd go to the bridge, eat breakfast, I'd go to the library and get on the computer or read. I'd come back to the bridge, eat lunch. After I'd eat lunch, I'd go back to the library. From the library, I'd go back to Austin Street. So I walked about anywhere from five to 10 miles a day. I was parked in a park that I usually go to in um, uh, South Dallas. And I had looked out and I saw that it was very heavy raining. Uh, Over the loudspeaker, the uh, uh, police said, we are going to have a boat down to you in about a half hour. He said, you're going to evacuate. I'm not the crying type. I'm a solution person. But there was a point when I just was starting to believe that it's over. So Catholic Charities showed me like these bios. It was really scary, but I met Tommy and Sherry and within, I don't know, two to three minutes, I knew these were my daughter's parents. That doesn't mean it was easy. I mean, it was the most difficult thing I've ever been through to have this child with you for nine months and then you just go home empty handed. It wasn't easy. (laughs) I didn't think I'd cry, but she was never mine. I I can't say enough about Catholic Charities. It was a place that just welcomed me in. You're a person and uh, they love you unconditionally. It's not about the food. It's all about people just showing you a little, hey, you matter. These food drives and the food pantries, it's not only helping people, it inspires people. It makes people think, hey, this is a great feeling. I think I'll pass it on. And so they start volunteering and It's changed my life. And if if the Catholic Charities weren't around, I would hate to know what this world was like. Catholic Charities, six o'clock at at night. uh, It said, we found you a hotel room down in Hastings. And it was at the La Quinta Motorhome, which I I thought was, this is very nice. Then I got back on the, you know, got back into my routine again with my uh, house being intact. Except when I started the generator, it wasn't running right. They not only got me a new one, they got me one with a three year warranty. The one thing that I had prayed for the whole time I was homeless is just a mile room and a bed, nothing extra. You know, and I got that and plenty more. Now I don't have to worry about nothing. I'm good now, go work on somebody else. Cause there's a lot of people that need work at all.